Okay, let's do it. Let's chat through how you can start your wish list. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Brittany and our family of five just moved to Hawaii and we lived in Texas before. So we moved from Texas to Hawaii just two weeks ago with 12 bags and I think we ended up shipping like at least 10 boxes through the post office. Um, but we sold off a lot of our stuff. Um, the girls' scooters, so I have a video about like the bikes that we bought when we got here as like a, yay, we made it. I'll put a little clip here for you so you can see what they look like because they're adorable. Um, but anyways, we sold off so much of our stuff because we had this intention of like when we get there, we're gonna just buy it all. Like if it's if it's cheaper to just sell it and buy a new thing or a thrifted thing, let's just do that. Now if it's something like, I have my favorite pot, like my favorite pot in the whole world that I love to cook with. That bad boy, I shipped it because it was an expensive pot. I couldn't get it for the price that I could sell it in anyways. Um, so with all that being said, we shipped, um, or we flew with 12 bags, mailed out 10 different boxes and everything else that didn't make the cut, we're starting over. So we should be moving into our apartment soon and very soon. We are hoping. Um, and then I have made a thrift list, like a thrift wish list, if you will. Um, that has everything that I could want, think, imagine. Some of it is like not practical because are, am I really gonna find it at a thrift store? I don't know, who knows? Um, but the plan is I could find it at Facebook Marketplace. I could find it at the thrift store. Um, but I went ahead and planned out everything. I have my list, I'm ready to go, I've researched. And so now it's time to like get things going, get things moving, let's start buying these items that I need but I need to do a scouting trip first. And I wanted to talk you through how simple it is to set up your own thrift wish list. Okay, I have three tips for making your thrift wish list the best that it can be. Tip number one, take inventory of what you actually need. Write it down. Tip number two, Look at prices, like go scouting, look at prices. Is it gonna be better for me to thrift this item or could I just buy a brand new item for this same amount? Like find out, cause some of the thrift stores are priced high. So do your research and see about how much you're looking at for each item on your list. And tip number three would be categorize everything. So for instance, I have a kitchen section, everything that I want for my kitchen. I have a living room section a dining room section, a girls room section. So I have broken it down so that it's easier because when you go into a thrift store, generally things are separated. Like I know the bathroom goods are gonna be in one general section usually. Now you can walk into some thrift stores and they're a whole hot mess and you just have to go and rummage and that's part of the fun of it. But those will be my top three tips when it comes to making your thrift wish list the best. So today we went to a couple different thrift stores to check out, scout, see where we're at, get some prices, fill it out. It's been a while since I've thrifted in Hawaii and I wanted to see where are we at, what are prices looking like here? Um, and I am super excited because I saw stuff that I thought like, there's no way I'm gonna find this. And I found it and like not just one, but like multiple items, which is super exciting. Um, so anyways, I'm excited. Um, today we just did a scouting trip. I'll share some of the things that I found, some of the things that I was looking for, and then I'll point it out on my wish list to let you know where we're at. But I seriously can't wait to get started and take you guys along on this journey with this. So be sure to check back as, as we thrift all the items. This is really cool. This one's pretty too. And this one. And I like this one. And I like this one. Okay, this is one of the things I was really sad about leaving my butter dish. Seven and a half. Oh, yeah. 